everyone, Gator Mom here. Today I have a Target haul to share with you. It's been a long time since I've done a haul video and they are actually my favorite type of videos to watch on YouTube. So I don't know why I don't do more haul videos. It's just one of those things that I just never think of doing, but they, like I said, are my favorite to watch. So I thought today I would sit down and share with you a Target haul. It's kind of accumulated over the past couple of weeks. I know that's kind of weird for a haul video, but I went shopping this past weekend and bought a bunch of this stuff, but a few of the items I have bought over the past like two or three weeks, all from Target because that's like the only place I shop. I mean, anybody else, like Target seems to be like the go-to for anything in my life. I'm like, oh, I need some hairspray, Target. I need some shoes, Target. I need something for the kids, Target. So anyways, today is a Target haul. And a lot of this stuff that I'm gonna be showing you is Target dollar spot things because my main purpose of things I've been going to Target for recently is stocking up for preparation for family vacation. So we go to the beach for a week every single year. Um, every single summer we go to Anna Maria here in Florida and it is like our favorite family vacation spot but I like to stock up on new kids activities a few weeks prior to going most of it is all found at the Target dollar spot or the Dollar General or places like that that I can get new activities for the kids for a road trip because it's a couple hours worth of a drive down there and it never fails but we have at least one day while we're there that it rains the whole day so we're stuck inside doing like board games and things like that so a lot of this is centered around that, um, a lot of the things that I'm going to share with you. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of get right into it and show you guys. So I picked up two bathing suits for myself. I normally wear like the two-piece tankini type tops with regular bottoms and I like those and I have a few of those but I wanted to try a one-piece. Um, just because I was feeling frisky and thought I would try something different. I don't know. And let me tell you, bathing suit shopping royally sucks. It's like the worst thing ever to do. Like if anybody likes bathing suit shopping, then, you know, kudos to you. But bathing suit shopping, no matter what your size is, is just absolutely miserable. But I got through it and I got two one-piece bathing suits. I got, I actually went there with the intention of getting like a floral pattern or something fun because I normally get like bright colored things, but I got two solids and they're kind of dark colors. So anyways, um, I got this one here. It's just like a one-piece bathing suit. It's kind of, it looks weird in the camera, but it's actually really flattering on. Um, but it's strapless. It does come with the strap that you can put like around your neck, but this particular one, it didn't have the strap. It went missing. So um, I got like 15% off on it and it was cute and I liked it enough. The back of it here is actually really cute because it has this one strap across it. So kind of different. I don't know. It's hard to get a feel for it, but I got that. And then I also got another one piece that does have the strap. So same concept. It's strapless, but it has like the strap that can go around your neck. And I really liked the um, detail of the top of this one. I liked kind of that braiding in the middle. And then again, it just kind of goes all the way down to the bottom or whatever, but I thought they were different. I wanted to try them. So I got those. I also picked up my son, two tank tops. He's um, three and a half ish. He was three in January and he's wearing a 4T now. He's like a big boy, but I got him two tank tops. I got him this one that's really cute. These are all Cat and Jack, um, and these I just got this past weekend, so you could definitely find these. And then I got this one. They're super cute. They were like four fifty. dollars um, I got those for him to wear while we're on vacation, and then I got him a pair of just plain cargo shorts. He looks so stinking cute in cargo shorts. He's like got these short little legs, and anyways, I got those for him. I also picked up two pairs of shoes. I got my daughter a pair. Um, she really needed a cute pair of shoes to just wear with like sundresses, so I got her these, which are really cute on. Um, they were on sale, Cat and Jack brand again, for $8.98. They were $18. So got those for her. She likes those. And then I picked these up. I thought they were really fun. Um, they were new. I haven't seen them there yet. So um, they are the Massimo brand and they're really cute sandals. I thought I could wear them, I mean, with just about anything, but I really liked them. They were not on sale. <laughs> I paid um, $24.99 for them, but they're cute. They kind of zip up in the back, something different. And I really liked the detail of the braiding of these. Now about two weeks ago or so at Target, again, I found these shoes that I have been wearing like nonstop, literally. So they're dirty, but I still wanted to share them with you because I still see them from time to time at Target. They are the D, um, V brand. I don't know what that is, but, um, anyways, this is what they look like. They're so cute with like dresses and sundresses. They're just a really fun little wedge. And then on the inside, you have like this tassel um, kind of zipper. But I 
love these they are like my new favorite go-to i've been wearing the heck out of them they're super dirty but i wanted to share them because they're my favorite um in the like beauty department before i get into all the target dollar spot stuff i did get well next to the beauty i got some kleenex i got these little um perfect fit is what they're called they come in like a pack of four um i got them mainly because the door in my explore has a cup holder like down at the bottom and i thought these would be perfect FYI, they don't fit. So they do fit in like a regular cup holder. So I have put one in my office and one in my center console and they work, but they don't work for what I was buying them for. But I got those. I also picked up my daughter a pack of hair clips. These are just the goodie ones. I mainly got them for this um, floral here. And I just noticed that two are missing. So that makes me sad. I'll probably have to take them back. Um, I didn't notice before when I just grabbed them quickly. It looks like there's two missing there at the top. So Someone grabbed those at Target and needed them right away, I guess. So <laughs> anyways, I'll have to take those back. Um, then I also picked up a thing of hairspray, just Dove Flexible Hold Hairspray. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's just one I always grab for. Um, but then I got these. I got these about a week or two ago when I was at Target. This is the Yes brand face wipes. And I love these. They are my absolute favorite facial wipes. You guys know I'm like a posh girl through and through for as far as any type of skincare, but posh doesn't have a facial wipe and I love face wipes. So I always use the Yes brand, but I use the cucumber ones and the grapefruit ones. I wanted to try this one because it was a detoxifying wipe. It's charcoal, super weird for me. Like I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's, a, it's literally like a black face wipe and I don't love it at all. I don't like it, not even a little bit. It smells, I mean, it doesn't really have a smell like the cucumber ones and the grapefruit ones have like really fresh scents and they make my face feel really like clean and crisp and these don't really leave that really fresh feel and it just smells weird. It's like, I mean, it's kind of like a clean scent, but I don't know. I would definitely stick with the grapefruit or the cucumber and not try these in my opinion, of course, but I got those. Um, I also picked up, I think that's it. And then all the rest of this stuff looks like a Target dollar spot thing. So we'll just get right into the Target dollar spot stuff. Um, I picked up two things of cards. These are awesome. I see them in the Target dollar spot all the time. This one is Crazy Eights. And then I also got a really cute pack of Go Fish. These are um, small little like travel cards. They're perfect for like your bag or diaper bags. But I got these to travel with. All the stuff's going with us, like vacation. And then I got um, not really in the Target dollar spot, but right next to it. I got these milk straws. They're made by Milk Magic, and I used to buy these for my kids all the time. They love them. They are milk straws, and they come in different flavors. They look like this, and they are so fun, and they flavor your milk whenever you're drinking them. My kids love them. This one is cookies and cream, and then I also got chocolate and then um, strawberry. They're so fun and they're really neat to just kind of stick in your bag and they can eat it when you're out to eat or of course at home or whatever, but I got them as something different to bring with us on our trip. Um, my, my older two are definitely gonna remember these because um, it's been a while since I grabbed them. So I got those and they're only like two bucks each. I think they were two 30 or something like that. So I grabbed those. I also grabbed um, three packs of Airheads. <laughs> these are like special treats in our house because I think they're literally, I mean like loaded with sugar. I mean it's, they're airheads, they're candy. So I do like dum-dums for special bribes in the car. My older two really like these. So anyways, these were like a buck for six. And so I grabbed these for the vacation. And then I got two packs of Band-Aids. I got some Shopkins and then I got Power Rangers just to restock kind of like our little mini med kit on the go. Um, I also got these two felt um, memory games. This one is a felt memory game, just like what I said, but this one is checkers. Um, so they're really fun because they open up kind of on the floor and I think the baby's really going to like to play with them. And this one was really cool because it was different sea creatures. So there's like a shark and a whale and a starfish and a, what is that, a lobster. So they're just really cool, something different. They were like three bucks. So I'll bring these along. They're small, compact, so they'll go with us. Then I also got just some plain Shopkin stamps to put in my daughter's bag. I also stocked up on play packs because who goes to Target and has to leave with play packs? I do. Every single time I see them, I grab all of them because we use them like all the time. So I got this whole stack. They were like a buck a piece. We, like I said, we go through them like water in this house. My kids love them. They're all different characters, super fun. So those will go with us. 
I also stocked up on a couple of new um, coloring books because a lot of our coloring books are like used and they're they need to be thrown away and kind of refreshed I guess so I got um, a couple of different Disney like Nickelodeon type um, coloring books in the dollar section and then I also got some stickers just some miscellaneous this is like a despicable me for my older and then I got these car bingo games this one was another one I was really excited to share with you guys so it's made by Disney it's a Disney product and it was only a buck these were only a dollar I got two of them because they're it's um, two packs in one I have three kids and I thought we all kind of play together but anyways they are reusable sticker games for road trips and um, there's tic-tac-toe four in a row car bingo and they feature different Disney characters so there's like Buzz Lightyear Cinderella all that kind of thing but this is what they look like they're like reusable stickers I hope the camera focuses I can't tell from all the way back here but reusable stickers and then the back is um, like a, a playing board for it so you could definitely kind of use these I guess but I thought these were really fun for playing um, in the car on the way then I also got three of these for my kids and they have never played with these before these are the um, the like um, imagine ink like where you basically color you guys know what I'm talking about but you have the clear forms and then you color with the special marker and then it um, shows up I remember traveling as a kid. We used to travel from Florida to Pennsylvania every single year. It was like a two day road trip expedition. It was a nightmare, but we always stopped at Cracker Barrel to eat at least once on our like vacation. And my parents used to buy these for me and it was like a special treat. So it's kind of oddly sentimental. But anyways, I got Shopkins and then Dory and then Paw Patrol for the baby. So I got those to pull out when I need to. Then I got these, um, they're kind of cool, kind of not cool, I don't know, but I got these um, out to see felt books and it was really a cool concept. If I was totally like a Pinterest mom, I would have made this by myself, but I am definitely not more of an Amazon mom for sure. I wish I was, but I'm totally not. Um, but they're felt books, they're like busy books for babies. This one is tic-tac-toe and then this one here, you have different little creatures that you put inside. I mean, they're really, really cute. And I think that they're fun for like a certain age group. So I think like my three-year-old is gonna like this. I think he's gonna play with it for a little bit. I did pick up three, cause I was like kind of super excited about them at the time. This one is like a sweet and treat one. And then this one is a travel busy book. Again, I think the concept's really cool. And I think the quality is good for like the three bucks I spent. My older two are not gonna love this, so I don't know what I was thinking, so I'll probably end up returning the other ones, but they're really cool because you have all these little like felt characters that go with the different games that are in the book. So it's definitely cool for um, like younger kids, like toddlers, you know, definitely would love that. So I think my youngest is gonna like this out to see one. We're going to the beach, so kind of fun, um, but I'll probably be returning the other ones. The next thing that I got are these sticker pads and they're really cool because they're a huge book of different types of stickers and I think they were like a whole three dollars but they have like over a thousand stickers inside and I like to get these because my three-year-old is obsessed with stickers we are in this really cool like sticker phase where he puts them on everything and it's really fun because he gets distracted by the stickers so I got two of these I got a mermaid one and then I got this out to see one and what I like to do like I said is just cut them up into little pieces so that I can reuse them for different purposes for example I got my daughter this really cute ice cream cone um, like art kit a couple of weeks ago it was like a week or two ago but again from Target and she loves it and we play it when we're out to eat I'll show you what the inside looks like because we've been using it a bunch but she has a space over here for all of her twistable crayons and these are twistable colored pencils and then over here on this side she has a little notebook and then some of those stickers that I just showed you so I cut them out of that big book and I put them kind of inside this part so that we always have a bunch of stickers for her to play with. Love this little thing. This was like the best dollar find ever. Um, got that at Target. Then only a couple things left. I got a sketch pad for each one of my kids in the dollar section. Again, it was $3. This one says you're cheesy and it's like a pizza pie, but it's hard bound. And what's really cool about it is it's hard in the front and the back. So it's absolutely perfect for road trips in the car. They can lay it on their lap and they have like a hard surface to do stamps or stickers or um, drawings or whatever. It's just white padded paper. Again, this one is your cheesy. 
And then I got this um, popsicle one with ice cream for my daughter because she's my little sweet tooth. Then I also got this um, dynamite one for my youngest. I thought that was really cute. So I got one of each of those for my kids for our road trip. Then I also got a bunch of light up um, glow in the dark things. And every year when we go to the beach, we like to have a pool party at the house that we're renting. And we do like big light up kind of glow stick party at nighttime and the kids love it and it's tradition. But I found these light up balloons, which I've never tried, so I don't have any feedback on them, but they were a buck and they are bright, like light colored balloons. So I think they'll be fun. I got pink and green and blue. And then this one is like a rainbow one. I should have gotten more than one of those, but this cool little rainbow one. Then I got for a buck, you can get 15 glow bracelets. So I got three packs of those so that we can like, you know, connect them all and make bracelets and necklaces and all of that. So I got all of those. And then the final thing that I got recently at Target is this big old fun mint and cream like floppy hat. So I plan to wear this to the beach. I don't know, like to kind of cover up from the sun and all of that. So I needed a new one and it was in the Target dollar spot and I think it was like three bucks. So that is my Target haul for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed it. I plan on doing a fun kind of um, travel series here on my channel where I share with you how I pack for my family of five, a grocery haul for the week and kind of packing up my car for our trip. So if that's something that interests you, please let me know in the comments below. And if you have any other requests kind of around that topic, let me know. I will talk to you guys next time. Have a great day.